G'day everybody, it's your boy Cheru47 here, and today we're back in glorious Dubai once again standing atop the tallest building in the world, the majestic Burj Al Ghazali. Now, I know that I ended up in a Lithuanian prison after my last visit here, but fortunately I managed to escape, and now I'm back with one goal and one goal only. And that goal is to kill everybody. Yes, everybody. Except myself. But that's subject to change. All right, Dubai. Well, here I am for the third time. And what better outfit to wear for a kill everyone challenge than my brand new freshly pressed red blood colored suit? Because there's absolutely no way in the world that anyone could look me in the eyes and tell me honestly that I don't look like a man that was born to kill everyone. Go on, try. <laughs> I dare you. And speaking of killing everyone, I'm sorry, lady, but this needs to be done. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> there she goes anyway now that i've got that out of my system i guess it's probably a good time to go through the cheeky items that i've brought with me today to help me get the job done so yes i've obviously brought my adorable little murder camera i brought my ica19 red trinity which you know what stuff and i'm just gonna pull it out right here right now look at this thing it's red <laughs> I've also brought a remote CX demolition block and a remote CX demolition block MK2. I figured that both of these bad boys would be pretty good items to bring with me for a kill everyone challenge inside of... <laughs> A building that's made completely of glass. So what better way to get things started than by heading up onto the stage? Placing one right here, another one right here, and then I'll just stand away a little bit and, um... <laughs> Uh, this is fun. I like killing everyone. Oh, hey, it's Barack Obama. Yes, I'm standing right here, sir. Please step out of my bubble. <laughs> Sorry, Barack Obama. Anyway, taking a look at the map of Dubai right here, the first thing you'll notice is that each level is pretty small, though there are a whole bunch of them stacked on top of each other. As a matter of fact, from the floor we're on right now, there are one, two, three, four floors above and two below. So with that in mind, my plan is to start right at the top of the building in the penthouse on the fifth floor, where I'll brutally murder everybody here, then slowly move down to the fourth floor, the third floor, the second floor, the zero floor, and the minus one floor. And once they're all done, then I'll move back up to the main atrium on the first floor, brutally murder everybody in a cloud of crack cocaineus and gun smoke, and then leave the stage any way I please. Oh yeah, and a little something that I didn't mention that I probably should have. I'm gonna be doing the entire thing in my suit only. Hey, hey, come here. <laughs> in you get. <laughs> oh God, oh. <laughs> hey ladies, so uh, you're a- <laughs> God, she's got a hard head. Speaking of elevator shafts, because I've already cleared this stage in its entirety, I'm now able to jump inside of the elevator shaft- nope. Oh. <laughs> Talk about your all-time backfire. What I was going to say is because I've completed the stage in its entirety, now I'm able to use the elevator shafts as a mode of transportation to get up and down the building without anybody noticing. But I feel like by now people are already pretty familiar with my MO, which is that no one can notice if there's no one to notice. Anyway, first things first is just grab all of these guns right here. I'll grab the key to the maintenance room. Grab this big old banana. Don't ask me why. Then what I'll do is drag all of these dead bodies into a pile underneath the water cooler and make it look like an accident. Perfect. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Now that everyone here is dead, I guess I'll hack into this safe right here, which I'm pretty sure is 6927. Probably don't even need this, but it never hurts to have an evacuation key card in your pocket. Now, if I'm not mistaken, which I almost always am, this elevator shaft should take me up to the top floor. And it does. Not quite ready to go in there yet, though. Now, I know I did say I was going to do this entire challenge in my suit, and that's kind of true, but I, I've just... I've. Listen, I've just had an idea. Don't judge me. I just, I gotta do something. Just trust me. So like, I had every intention of doing this in my suit, but I just had a really, really good idea that's going to allow me to kill one of my targets in a super funny way. So uh, I'm going to wait for budget ripoff Walmart made in China, balding hitman to, <laughs> balding hitman to come over here. That doesn't make sense. God damn it. I swear to God, this bloody lady's got superhuman hearing. You know what happens to people with superhuman hearing? <laughs> 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 Did that go in her ear? <laughs> now it's your turn for a good old-fashioned ear cleaning. <laughs> well, now that that's taken care of, I'll just pick up all of this junk right here. Change into this extremely ugly, swagless suit. Pull my screwdriver out of his ear. And momentarily leave all of my explosives and my guns on the floor. And there are a couple of them. <laughs> and by a couple... <laughs> I mean enough to arm a small army. All right, my babies, I'll be back for you soon. Yeah, yeah, I know you want to feel my balls. Go ahead. So yeah, we've seen all of this crap in a previous video, but basically I'm following her up into the meeting room where I'm going to have a meeting with Mr. Ingram, who's going to give me a photograph and tell me to brutally murder some innocent journalist, which uh, honestly... <laughs> <laughs> raises a couple of questions about 47's integrity. Fortunately, though, integrity isn't a prerequisite for a hitman. Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. 
You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. This better be good. Oh, it's going to be really good. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. We are going to have the meeting right here. Right right on this spot. Get in a bath. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is. <laughs> better be good. <laughs> Uh-huh. There we go. I've got a message for you, mate. And that message is to always stay hydrated. That's right. You dirty boy. You better drink up every single drop of water in that gut. Oh. You drank it all. Anyway, the reason for all of this nonsense and the reason for me changing out of my red, crimson, blood-colored suit was simply to get this delightful lady to take me up to the penthouse where I'm going to do uh, a little bit of a uh, magic trick. It's a disappearing trick, actually. <laughs> it's a disappearing trick that's going to blow your socks off. You'll have to excuse me for a second, miss. This is kind of obligatory. Just gonna stuff this apple in that hole. Oh, god damn it. Use a trash can next time! <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure I can fit this screwdriver in there. <laughs> this is so annoying. You know, I hear that a lot, actually. Alrighty, well, it looks like I've made it to the penthouse suite. Hello, Mr. Ingram. Now, if you excuse me for a second, I'm just going to head out onto the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> gonna prepare my magic trick. Just gonna come over here and I'm going to tamper with this. <laughs> Just make it a little bit looser than usual. Looked a little bit tight, you know, and uh, I know he wants me to come inside and have a drink with him, but if I stand right here and give him the impression that these railings are safe and stable, he might come out <laughs> to join me <laughs> for a little bit of fresh air. Well, I hope you like magic tricks, because, uh, three, two, one, poof! <laughs> That's the vanishing trick. See, uh, he vanished. <laughs> he bounced like a freaking pinball. All right, so that's the only reason that I changed into this suit. Uh, now it's time to get back into my crimson red blood suit, <laughs> then make my way back up here, and then start the killing. Oh, hey, look, there's one of my targets right there. I don't suppose that he plans on walking underneath this chandelier, does he? Six hours later. Well, I guess not, but that's fine. You get to live, Stuyvesant. For now. Now I'll just scan these windows right here and open them up, so then I piss off these two smokers. Yeah, that's right, you dirty smoking... Smokers. And now that they're gone, I can jump right in here. And I'll sneak into the laundry past this guy and head straight on into the toilet. Hey, everybody. I, uh, sorry. I accidentally took a dump in the laundry. <laughs> He's trying not to act surprised. All right. Well, that couldn't have gone any smoother than it did. And Loki, I wouldn't be surprised if Ingram is still falling. <laughs> Might see him go past this window any second now. Oh, God, it feels so good to be out of that dirty thing. Look at me. I'm so red. Before heading back up to the top floor, though, I think I'm going to handle Stuyvesant. Just because I'm pretty sure that if he freaks out, he's going to put on a... Actually, that's not really an issue. I was going to say that if he gets spooked, he might put on his parachute and jump off the side of the building. And I really don't think Thank you. that that is going to happen. <laughs> I mean, he's welcome to try. Uh, excuse me, you... Didn't see nothing. Uh oh, is that? Oh, that was Sheikh Al Ghazali. That's the guy that owns this building. Well, <laughs> guess the building's mine now. So this right here is what I like to call suit-only stealth assassin. Just ignore the fact that there's like 40 guys trying to chase me up the stairs. Hey, 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 hey! Don't even think about it. All right, well, this is gonna be a little bit. Oh god, couldn't hit a bull in the balls with a bale of hay from a meter away. This is gonna be a little bit louder than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. <laughs> Everybody gotta. Hear that sound? Let's get loud. Let's get loud. I got 70 bullets and I'm gonna bury them in your face. Oh, shit. I missed that. God, I couldn't even hit a stationary target. Useless. So whilst this might look like a very, very terrible situation, the good news is that I won't need to go looking for everybody because they're all walking single file. Oh, God. I'm so bad. Oh, my God. I hope I've got time for one game of solitaire. Hey, trying to play solitaire here. Everyone's just relaxing. Despite the fact that there's a literal mountain of dead bodies over here. Plus one. Plus two. Obviously, you're going to die too, pal. Oh, bulletproof windows. My only weakness. <laughs> How did they know? Tango? Excuse me, I have a name. There are bodies all over. Lady, you're tripping. She was tripping. She was tripping. That's why you never trip around Hitman. Gunshots. Oh, no, wait, what? Did someone say gunshots? Gunshots, these ones. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, bitch. Well, just like I said I would, I wiped out everyone on the top floor in a display of godlike stealth mastery. Except this guy. And this guy. Oh, yeah. And this guy. 
Speaking of which, uh, I believe that Diana left me a little something something under this staircase. Oh yes, Dak Gold Covert. Precisely what I need to assist me in my killing spree. Low key though, the real reason I chose this was because I thought the gold gun would look really sick with my red suit and god damn it does. <laughs> Actually, I got something special for you, buddy. Two very boring minutes later. So I'm guessing that if the only job this guy could get was a security guard, then he's gonna, uh, <laughs> he's gonna be super keen for that dollar. And a free car battery! Um. <laughs> okay, well, the water looks pretty electrified. I bet if I walk into it, I die. Only one way to find out. <laughs> I hate this game. It looks like this metal bar saved him, so let me see if I can, I can walk on it. <laughs> Kill me now. Push a little bit closer, maybe <laughs> maybe that'll help. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, battery. Just, just a little bit closer. <laughs> what is this guy, freaking Thor? I hate you. I hate this lady too. <laughs> Gee, lady, what are we gonna do with you? Oh, look, here's a hole. Let me just pop you down there. Oh, oh yeah, I guess that's a bit of a drop, isn't it? All right, well, that's 100% of the people on the top floor completely... Oh, wait, hold on. That's 100% of the people on the top floor taken care of. Actually, no, that's 100% of the people on the top floor and the second top floor taken care of. All right, so my prediction is that I probably won't see too many guards. Hey, just going to say I probably won't see too many guards for the next two floors because most of them all <laughs> ended up single file to be killed. I guess this is one of the lazy ones. <laughs> that was... <laughs> he crashed into the coffee machine. So is that a coffee machine? Hold on, let me have a look here. Oh, yep, yep. I'll go for a uh, double espresso, please. As I was saying, it was hilarious how hard that guy crashed face first into the coffee machine. <laughs> I guess he really, really needed a latte. All right, pal. Well, bullet in the back of the head for you. Also got one for you. And your buddy right here. Then for you. And for you. Now I'm going to need to move quick because this floor is connected to the lower levels, which has the potential to freak everybody the fuck out. What are you... Can you just stop shooting your gun? I'm trying to do this stealthily and you just ruined it for everyone. You know, you're a real... You're a real asshole. You're a real asshole. You ruin it for everybody. Nobody likes... Nobody likes people that ruin things for everybody. Shame on you. Party pooper. The kind of guy that goes into the comment section and spoils the ending of video games for people. The worst kind of person. Literal garbage. I hate you. This probably isn't the best idea that I've had today, but... Uh, at least I feel better. It was, uh, it was therapeutic. Anyway, despite this mass slaughter, it seems like nobody on the lower levels has any idea what's going on. Uh, 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 hold on a second. I nearly forgot. Gotta give you a nudge. Uh, that, was, uh, that was accidental. Hi, my name's Agent 47. Now to make this guy's death look like an accident too. There he goes. Was that? Oh, shite. Oh, he didn't go over the edge. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> That lady found him. <laughs> that lady's having PTSD right now. <laughs> anyway, now I guess I'll head into the server room, swipe my key card right here, and I'll rip the server rack out right here, up onto the terminal, open all of the elevator doors which are already open, disable all of the cameras which I've already disabled, then I'll deposit some emergency funds in my bank account because it's just funny to watch. Now it's time to head downstairs. Oh, wait, sorry. I forgot about you. Oh, hello there. Looks like I found my next victims. So you can have a crowbar, you can have a hammer, and you can have a screwdriver. Oh, hey, look, it's my other target, Marcus Stuyvesant. Wonder if he's uh, planning on paying a visit to the <laughs> art exhibition downstairs anytime soon. Hey, ladies, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I really need the fuse inside of that cabinet. And unfortunately, I'm an emotionally stunted hitman that only knows how to solve things with violence. Now, admittedly, I have no idea whether Stuyvesant is going to head back this way this late into the game. But in a worst case scenario, at least someone will. Oh, no, you pro... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's uh, not exactly... Whatever. Hey there, I'm Garden Tool Oprah. Free screwdrivers for everybody. You too, buddy. Oh no, I... Oh gosh. It appears uh, that you might be on fire. That was unfortunate. Who... They could have seen that coming. That's... <sighs> Safety issues. Not good. Not, not, not great. Not very... Not, not wonderful. And yes, we are going to do the obligatory toss the tech guy off the side of the building to see how long it takes <laughs> for a man to hit the ground from 50... Oh. And it vanished. The alarm. You need to act fast before those bastards evacuate. Head for the helipad. Hold on, wait, what? The the alarm? Well, okay, this gives me an idea. I'm gonna have to move and I'm gonna have to move quickly. Oh, too slow. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I, I, I already sabotaged the parachutes. <laughs> that guy's not going anywhere. All right, Mr. Helicopter Pilot, so uh, you will not be going anywhere today. You're gonna be staying right here. All right, so you die. That's for having a non-explosive helicopter. You die also. And don't even... 
think about going anywhere. So I hope you've got your parachute. Oh, no, hold on. You don't have your parachute. Oh, I thought you did. Gosh, I need to get my eyes checked. Oh. <laughs> he fell in the drain. <laughs> Gutter ball. Bloody hell game. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop, you know, like telling me that I can leave the stage now. I'm, I'm not ready to leave the stage yet. There's still too many people that need to be killed. As a matter of fact, there should be one right around this high. Don't move dead bodies. Unacceptable. All right, well, now it's time to go down to the bottom floor and make my way up. Everybody dies. Oh, God, bulletproof bloody... Oh, no, they're not bulletproof. I'm just a terrible shot. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, no, he's running away. God damn, son of a banana. Thank you. Oh! You nearly survived. Oh wow! See, this is uh, this is why I always use silenced weapons. You know, you can you can shoot a floor full of people. And the dumb cleaner won't even know what happened. Hey, dumb cleaner. <laughs> Nothing personal. It's just the kill everybody challenge. Leave the area. I will only leave the area once I have killed everyone. Oh, hey, security guards, how you going? Uh, you die. You also die. So do you. And you. <laughs> Bombs away. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, there's a couple of small rooms that I haven't taken care of yet, like the laundry and the toilet in here. Sorry, sir. Oh, I just threw that guy's face into the mirror. What the bloody... What the frick, man? Oh, no, I'm going to need to leave one of these. But All right, well, you wait here for me, sweetie. I'll be back for you if I need you. Oh, shit. Hold on, wait, what? Did you... Oh, that was so dumb. That was a really silly, lady. Oh, look. It's some... Cocainus. Ready, steady, yeti, catch. That was a superb catch. Well done. Uh oh, no. Don't even. Nobody is going upstairs. We don't want to alarm anyone. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Everything's fine. <laughs> don't freak out. I need help. Hi, I'm help. So it looks like every single person on the bottom, bottom floor has been taken care of now, meaning that the only floor that still needs to be dealt with is this one right here. You know, the one with all the people on it. All right, well, I guess it's time to get this show on the road. All right, boys, it's time for the grand finale of the Kill Everyone Challenge, where I actually kill everyone. Look at these ladies still too busy over here punching durries on the edge of the balcony. Durry punching is bad for your health. Coincidentally, getting tossed off the side of 50,000 story buildings is also bad for your health. Oh. <laughs> all right, everyone, you ready for Yeetus McWeetus? Don't, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Hold on, I got one more here. <laughs> That's always so much fun. All right, everybody. Well, this is uh, this is called the Kill Everyone Challenge. I want to make sure that none of you take this seriously. Also, I'd like to remind you that none of you are real, which technically makes this totally all right. Hey, everybody, I need you to do me a favor and just keep still. I've only got a pistol, which means shooting y'all is going to be a little bit difficult, and I don't want to. I don't want to waste. God damn it! All of my ammunition shooting moving targets. So just just stay still, like these guys. Hey, look, it's Mr. Sato. Never liked your outfits. At this point, I feel like these characters are just spawning out of some... Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like they're just spawning out of somewhere and repopulating the room. Look, this guy's sitting at the table having a freaking apple. A freaking apple? What? You maniac. Oh, I've got no bullets. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I do have a screwdriver, though. Still not done. Hey, I don't suppose... You're... Oh! The last man of the Kill Everybody Challenge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Kill Everybody Challenge in Dubai has successfully been completed. Finally, oh my god, I never thought I was going to do it. And here I am leaving the scene of the activity. Yes, activity, not a crime. With absolutely no bullets left in my gun. And absolutely no blood on my suit. Or is there? Well, I guess we're never going to know. Sorry, everybody. Like I said, don't take it personally. It's just the Kill Everybody Challenge. And on that note, see you later, Dubai. It's been real. Real freaking red. Oh, and uh, I know that in a lot of my videos, people want to see how bad my score actually was when I finished. And this is what I ended up with. 3,660 XP, and I lost 1,315,000 for killing non-targets. <laughs> all right, that's all.